everyone's gay now. It's just the phase. Everything's so fluid now. There just used to be gay and straight. It starts at birth. Pink is for a girl and blue is for a boy. Even before you're born, gender places expectations on you. Expecting a woman to be warm, sexy, and feminine, and expecting a man to be unfeeling, strong, and decisive. It's said that getting older provides more opportunities for self-expression. However, these opportunities were pioneered by many people within my age range. As you see an increase in young people getting comfortable exploring their gender identities as form of self-expression, there's an increase in confusion from other generations. Despite these ideas not being new, challenging gender expression has become more socially acceptable. Additionally, by challenging norms of gender expression, Generation Z has managed to grow past outdated ideas surrounding gender expression and gender roles. Today, I'm going to describe the change in culture surrounding gender expression in today's youth. Before we go forward, we must take a step back. We can all acknowledge the long-lasting existence of those who look to bend society's rules, such as William Dorsey Swan as a first drag queen and Madam C.J. Walker as a strong female entrepreneur. However, there was extreme bias and misconception surrounding those who attempted to break against societal norms. These ideas keep progressing through the years, such as a man and woman's role inside and outside of the house, with women being expected to be proficient in household activities and men being expected to bear the brunt of a financial burden. As generations progress through boomers, Generation X, and now Generation Z, you see individuals becoming more comfortable with challenging the way gender should be expressed. It's important to understand the concept we're talking about today. Gender expression and sexuality are two different concepts, yet they constantly get confused. Gender expression is a reflection of one's internal perception of their gender. And there's a common misconception that one's gender expression is indicative of their sexuality. After acknowledging the rigid gender expectations of the past, it's important to see how they've morphed to fit a more progressive youth. Through the emergence of social media, people are allowed to use the different platforms to express themselves, normalizing different kinds of gender expression. Instagram provides platform for thousands of individuals to blend in among millions of other individuals like them. Seeing male dancers on Instagram has removed some of the stigma surrounding male dancers and stopped many people from assuming their sexuality based off the activity they choose to participate in. Additionally, with the rise in popularity of beauty gurus and makeup culture, there has been a shift in the culture of makeup. Makeup brands have rebranded to become more inclusive as a result of increased gender expression from the younger generations on social media. Through social media, you see an increase in teenagers who found a safe space to express themselves. Social media allows for you to control who views your content and how your content is presented. However, when discussing social media, it's necessary to discuss the negatives. It's impossible to ignore the overwhelming amount of anxiety and sadness that the constant scrutiny of social media can bring about. When you put yourself out there on social media, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to plenty of negative judgment. However, social media allows for you to control your content and who is allowed to view your content. In addition to that, social media is comprised of thousands of little communities for everyone to feel comfortable and find their place. Once someone is able to find their place on social media, they can feel comfortable expressing themselves with minimal judgment. In addition to social media, pop culture and its inhabitants have adapted to the different acceptable times. Within mainstream social media, you see people pushing against the gender roles assigned to them by traditional society, with male stars like ASAP Rocky painting his nails, or young thug wearing dresses intended for female models. They're pushing barriers and opening up opportunities for a lot of younger people to take direction on their own. These rappers help alleviate some of the negative conversations around self-expression with young men. The influences allow young men to feel more comfortable with gender expression, such as exploring nail polish and alternative waves of dressing. Additionally, with the help of women like Janelle Monae and Billie Eilish, there's an influx of young women using their influence to feel more comfortable with exploring the way they convey themselves to the world, such as exploring masculine ways of dressing and straying away from feminine beauty expectations. However, experimenting with gender identity does not come without any consequences. Growing up, my friend Kylie hated her hair for reasons I never understood. At six years old, it was long, brown, and gorgeous. For the next four years of our life, she spent months trying to convince her parents to let her cut it shorter. Despite what her parents wanted, she just wasn't as comfortable with long hair. 
It didn't reflect who she was and who she wanted to be seen as. Finally, around the age of 10, her parents let her cut it to her shoulders. As children, her parents thought she was too young to make decisions about the way she wanted to be perceived, leaving her to feel uncomfortable in the body they had gifted her with. Soon, years went on and Kylie continued to leave her hair short. However, Kylie realized she hated the dresses she was forced to wear to our school concerts. Kylie went to war with her parents for the right to wear khakis in school as long as she could. However, once we reached middle school, we weren't allowed to wear khakis anymore. At this point, Kylie was suffocating under the pressure from her parents and now our school. Kylie threw herself into sports in order to find a community where she could dress comfortably. Finally, at the age of 13, Kylie left the school I attended and began to settle into her own. She cut her hair to her ears and exclusively wore baggy sweatpants and baggy shirts. After my experiences with Kylie, I saw how hard she fought to effectively convey how she wanted to look. The unwillingness of her parents to listen to their child encouraged distrust between Kylie and her parents. Kylie had a full understanding of how she wanted to convey her gender expression from a young age. Now, I know what you're thinking. No one knows who they are at six. However, gender places barriers on you before you're born, not leaving room for experimentation. The impact your gender has is inescapable. It places stereotypes on you before birth. In addition, gender expression and your awareness of it starts at a young age. The inclination to experiment with your gender is natural, and this generation has only normalized it. Social media allows the younger generation to express and explore their gender identity, no matter what obstacles are presented to them in their immediate lives. The yearning to express yourself surpasses any obstacles presented. By utilizing the internet, this current generation has many outlets for self-expression. Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter have been utilized by the current generation to display their personal gender expression to anyone who will listen. Recently, I've become friends with a 17-year-old named Sebastian. He's a typical teenage boy playing sports and video games. However, he's begun to get more curious about how nail polish would look on him. The last time we hung out, he asked me to paint his nails a pretty blue color so he could see how it looks. Although I didn't think much of it, something so small made his eyes light up. Once his nails were painted, he asked me to take the polish off before his mom saw. Despite the explosion of gender expression within the last 20 years, there's still a disconnect between the younger generation and the older generation when discussing gender expression. Older generations tend to have a very rigid view of gender, leaving very little room for experimentation, whereas younger generations possess a broader sense of freedom when addressing gender expression. Because of this disconnect, there's a huge level of confusion older generations have when addressing younger generations. Gender expression is so important to every individual. Gender expression is one of the many facets of self-expression. Despite the barriers placed around gender expression in the past, gender expression has been allowed to thrive within our advancing society. With social media platforms and influencers in the media, gender expression is not only accepted, but encouraged. We've seen Generation Z really push the boundaries on what is socially acceptable in order to make comfortable spaces for everyone. Now, I am well aware, along with thousands of other teens, that there are people in all age ranges who disagree with the majority. People who believe that giving children too much power for themselves could only cause more confusion. However, without the ability to explore for yourself at a young age, there will only be more confusion at an adult age. Thank you.